Hey everyone, this is Brian with Aero Teardrops and we're here on this beautiful spring day to uh, do a little tour of one of our Selwood models with the uh, kitchen floor plan. We offer this model in two different floor plans, uh, one with a kitchen and one with a bathroom uh, and shower. So we're gonna do a little tour of this trailer. We're gonna do an exterior first and then we'll move to inside to the uh, interior of the trailer. We'll go through all the features and, and options um, so you can see uh, you know, how, how they are arranged and, and um, the uses for the trailer. So uh, starting outside here, we have our entry door with the, with the screen door. So it's nice for uh, nice weather. You can close this screen, have a nice screen door. And then get your nice insulated entry door here. Has a lock on the handle and a deadbolt lock for security. There's a little door retainer here to hold the door open. Down here we have a uh, quick release uh, propane hookup. These work great for having a barbecue outside or um, a propane fire pit. That's what we use on our Selwood. We have a propane fire pit that will hook up to the trailer. Uh, makes it nice uh, to have that ready to go. There's a rear baggage compartment back here. This is a good size uh, storage compartment. Nice deep storage. You can get a broom in there, some longer items, great for chairs, um, all your uh, leveling uh, stuff, your wheel chocks, everything like that fit in here. There's four scissor jacks on each Selwood at, at every corner of the trailer is a, one of those. So you can uh, stabilize the trailer really well and do a little bit of leveling there. So the, the Thule hideaway awning, this is a standard feature on the Selwood model now. It's very simple to operate. It comes with this crank handle here. And there's a little place for this uh, crank inserts here on the end of the awning. And you basically just crank it out. So it will self, it will self support to some extent. but we really recommend using the support arms. It's gonna help it clear the door and then add a lot of stability to the awning. So I'm just gonna leave this crank hanging here right now and show you how these arms work. So the legs, they pop out of this end cap here. And there's two different ways you can use these legs. You can have them straight down on the ground and then stake them down. Or you can plug them into these supports that are right here on the side of the trailer. So these drop in. There's one on either side here. We'll get the other one out. Tighten these little finger nuts here. And that's all there is to it. So now you've got a nice shaded area, a nice protected area when it's raining. You can set your barbecue up out here, have some shelter, really great option. Actually not an option, standard feature now. And then to put it away, just repeat the process. There you go. You've got your emergency exit window for the rear sleeping area. And this is the propane furnace and exhaust here. Then we'll move around to the uh, front of the trailer here. Every cell wood comes with twin 20 pound uh, propane cylinders. Lots of propane capacity for this size of a trailer. 
This is our uh, standard tongue jack that comes on the Selwood model. You can opt for a swiveling uh, jack with a wheel. So the windows on the Selwood trailer are, are very nice windows. They're made by a manufacturer local to us here in the Northwest. They are a uh, marine grade window and they're a mitered corner. So we wanted to keep that kind of vintage feel with the windows, but this is a quarter inch thick tempered glass. And then all the, uh, all the windows that open have screens in them. So you've got plenty of ventilation. There's actually two more windows or three more windows on that far side of the trailer in the kitchen floor plan. So you can really get the, the trailer opened up and a lot of fresh air moving through it. Also, you know, if um, you have that optional screen door as well. So lots of fresh air. So over here on this side of the trailer, we'll go through all these hookups and ports and everything. Um, first is the 120 volt uh, park power inlet. This is where you would hook the trailer up to an electrical source to run the 120 volt outlets inside the trailer, charge the battery. Um, it'll also run on the 12 volt converter at that time. Also, this is necessary uh, for when you're running the roof mounted AC. Um, it requires 120 volts of power to run as well. Below that is a portable solar panel hookup. So um, there's you know many different panels that you can use uh, that will attach to this. This is just a 12 volt hookup. Great for uh, when you're boondocking and need a little solar power. Here is uh, the gravity um, fill for the water tank. The uh, kitchen floor plan, I believe has 20 gallons of fresh and 20 gallons of gray water. The gray water tank is located underneath the trailer here. This is the pressurized city water connection. So if you're at a location that has um, you know, fresh water or city water, you can connect the trailer directly here. Next to that is our external shower option. Um, this is uh, something you can choose when you order your saw wood. Uh, it's a nice little outside shower. I believe this is a five or six foot hose. There's a little holder here for the shower head. Super great for like camping at the beach and hosing off the dogs, hosing off the kids, hosing your feet off. Great way to kind of clean off before you uh, go inside the trailer. And this is the vent outlet for the um, vent hood on the cooktop. And then back here we have our Truma um, on-demand hot water heater. So standard on all the cell woods is an on-demand um, hot water heater system from Truma. It's great because there's um, no holding tank to run to run out and um, you know you don't end up with cold water during a shower or while you're using the, uh, the hot water. They're very efficient um, and we just love them. Uh, They've, they've been a really great uh, hot water system for us. Back here on the rear of the trailer, we have a standard spare tire. It's a, a matching spare tire um, to, the, uh, to the, the axle or the, the, the wheels, I guess. <laughs> the, uh, so you have a nice matching spare uh, if you ever get a flat. And one great feature um, that we're able to do on the Selwoods as well as our teardrop trailers is this um, light leaf, drop leaf uh, solar panel. It's a carbon fiber solar panel. It's very light. And this panel right now is connected to the trailer by this port here. It's charging the trailer when in the sunlight, maintaining the batteries, you know, while you're storing the trailer. And then when you're camping, it disconnects. So by rotating these here, you can disconnect the panel off of the trailer and plug it into the side port and use it uh, as a portable system. So that way you can park the solid trailer in the shade and then have the panel out in the sun and it'll maintain the battery system from there. So here we are inside the uh, solid with, uh, with the kitchen um, floor plan. The thing I really like about this floor plan is I'm not real partial to having bathrooms inside my trailer. So I value the, the cooking area. Um, I like, I like food. So I like to make food when I'm camping and having the adequate space to do it. So um, you have a three burner cooktop and a 17 inch oven available in the um, cell wood. We're also looking at options for doing a three burner cooktop and then a convection microwave underneath this. So that's a, a possible option um, in this floor plan as well. You've got your 
range hood above that. There's an LED light and a fan that exhausts um, outside the trailer. There's a little folding countertop here that's really nice and handy. Gives you some extra space while you're you know, using the kitchen. And it folds down in a way when you're not using it. There's a nice big stainless steel sink. And then this Dometic refrigerator, it's pretty good size. We used to offer two uh, refrigerators in this uh, in the Selwood model, and moving forward, we're going with this larger uh, 110 quart refrigerator. Got some uh, tip outs here. Nice big storage drawer under that. And then lots of storage down below here. All these tip out cabinets, places to store things. Got all the storage back here. Lots of more tip outs. A couple of uh, big drawers here. Storing things. So lots of, lots of area to store things in these trailers. These two cabinet doors give you access into that rear storage area. So while you're camping, if you need to grab something um, from inside the trailer, you can get in there. This over here is the wardrobe cabinet. It's actually a wardrobe and pantry, and there's a ton of storage in here. So this side, plenty of room to hang coats, um, pack clothes in. There's a nice shelf up above that fits tons of things like board games. I can even stuff pillows up there and blankets. Then all these great drawers pull out all kinds of storage in these. We really like to use as much of the space as we can in these. There's more storage underneath the wardrobe. And here is the propane furnace. So in the Selwood models, the propane furnace is standard. Um, the AC is an option. So this trailer actually has the optional roof mounted AC. The standard option would be a max fan, a 10 speed max fan, which is great inside these trailers as well. So you have, you know, lots of uh, options to choose from and more storage. <laughs> so you've got lots of storage here above the countertop as well. So we're going to move back here to the rear sleeping area. Solwoods come with these nice roll-up curtains. They're from a company called Talona Rustics. Uh, they just started adding these grommets in them so you can have them, you know, halfway, which makes it nice. Still have a little bit of shade. Or they roll up, like here, and they're held with these leather straps. It's really nice. They're, they're um, a double fabric, so they're a blackout curtain make it really nice uh, for uh, bright mornings and stuff. Above that is our hammock option. So this is a great option for a family with children. This hammock up here is great. It covers this whole entire area. I'll show you, and I'll show you how that works. So the, the fabric kind of tumbles down. Then the first bar here comes out and clips in this forward cleat. We have a nice hammock. And we've actually had adults up here. Um, it'll hold an adult, no problem. But ideal for kids. <laughs> so then that stows away, and then you can take the fabric. And I like just tucking it up here to get it up and out of the way. Full use of the window and everything. There's a 21 inch LED flat screen, and that's on a boom arm here. So it's nice because you can pull this out and situate it for you know watching it in bed or watching it here on this rear um, couch. Or you can swing it all the way out and watch it from the front of the trailer. So now when you're sitting at the dinette, you can also watch um, video. And that's connected to the built-in stereo and DVD um, player that are in the trailer that we'll show you here in a minute. So this rear sleeping area converts from a couch to a bed and it does that fairly quickly 
by just sliding this bottom out and then this rear cushion slides together like that. So very quickly, you've got your rear sleeping area. Sleeps two adults, great. It's six foot eight um, long, and I believe it's 50 inches or so wide. And we'll go back to convert it back to the couch here. like that. All right, now let's talk about the items here in the front of the trailer. So up here we have our dinette. It's a convertible dinette. The table drops down and makes a bed uh, across the front of the trailer here. The bed is, I think about six foot eight, I'm pretty sure. So again, great for a tall adult, um, 35 inches wide. It's a, uh, yeah, for, for sleeping one person up here, it's great. You can get a couple of kids up here if you'd like. Above this, or above the dinette, is our storage cabinet. But this is a special storage cabinet because this trailer has our optional front bunk. So while this is folded up, you've got this great storage cabinet. Both doors open here. They've got some nice latches to keep them shut. And then you raise these pins here. And this becomes our folding bunk. And then this board slides forward to cover the doors. So now you've got a nice flat sleeping area up here. So over here under the cabinet is the entertainment system for the trailer. It's a AM FM stereo, Bluetooth, you've got a USB port in it, um, auxiliary cable hookup. It's also a CD DVD player and this is connected to that rear flat screen. Uh, it's all controlled by one remote so the system is all integrated which is really nice and the, the flat screen in the back actually has an additional HDMI port that you can connect to. This is the thermostat for the uh, HVAC system. This controls the heat and AC. Very simple to operate. Just have your mode button here and your temperature. Now I'm gonna show you how this front dinette uh, converts into a bed. So first thing, you're gonna fold this table leg up and out of the way. And then it lifts off this track here on the wall. Really simply like that. The table goes down on these cleats. And then from there, you're just going to slide the cushions across. The foam that we use in these is a four inch and it's a medium firm density. So they're really comfortable to sleep on. And then to switch it back, you're just gonna repeat the process. like that. Under the table here we have some other uh, items that I'd like to point out. There's a solar controller down here. Well that's going to control the light leaf panel that's on the trailer. Right now it's charging the trailer. You can see the little progress bar kind of clicking away there. In front of that 
is the power center. So that's kind of the electrical brain for the whole trailer. You've got your 120 volt circuit breakers in there. All of your 12 volt fuses are located in there. And then we have a 12 volt power port and a USB port and 120 volt GFCI um, plug. Now all the lighting in the um, Selwood trailers are uh, really efficient LED lighting. We've got lights on the ceiling here and we also have reading lights at all four corners, which is really nice. And then under the, under the cabinet here, we have some nice task lighting. So lots of different kind of lighting arrangements you can choose from while you're using this trailer. A nice option we offer in, the, uh, in this floor plan is a pull-out porta potty So even though this trailer doesn't have a bathroom in it, you do have that option. So this slides out here and you've got a porta potty hidden away. So during the night, you know, for those bathroom emergencies, you're covered. Just inside the uh, entrance of the cellwood here, we have a couple of switches. And these switches, um, one controls the ceiling lights and the other controls the outside porch light. Next to that, we have our water pump switch and our tank level um, sensors. This trailer is just gonna have a fresh and a gray. And then you've got a little battery level um, button here as well. Next to that is the Truma um, AquaGo water heater control. So this is where you will power up your water heater when you're ready to use it. Very simple, just a basically turning it on to whatever mode you would like to use while you're camping. If you're uh, interested in checking out our Selwood trailer and uh, looking at pricing and options, you can go to our website, it's aeroteardrops.com and click on our trailer builder. And from there you can pick the model and see all the options that are available for the Selwood trailer. Um, if you'd like to talk to us in person, we'd love to do that too. Our phone number is 503-597-8714 or shoot us an email at sales at and we really look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.